realized yesterday when we went to the cockpit. Yeah. He had a he had a doc he had an appointment yesterday anyway. But I feel okay. Well thank you. Okay. Thank you. I will do that.
Yes. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Um, you can probably tell I am not Rabbi Murray. I am Julie Cohen. Rabbi Murray is at a URJ conference in Washington this weekend. So welcome to everybody online and welcome to everybody here. And we will start tonight with uh, the lighting of the candles on page two. Susan Pallant is going to light the candles for us tonight. Um, can read either one. I'll read it in English and then we can say it in Hebrew. Yep. How's that? As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindled light. Baruch, shall we go? Sure. Ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvosav, v'tzivanu lehadlik nir, shel shabbat. And we are going to continue on page nine at the top responsibly. There are days when we seek things for ourselves and measure failure by what we do not gain. On Shabbat, we seek to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature as if it were a horn of plenty that can never be exhausted. On Shabbat, Shabbat, we stand, stand in awe of the, the mystery, mystery of, of creation. creation. There are days when we act as if we cared nothing for the rights of others. On, On Shabbat, Shabbat, remember that justice is our duty and a better, better world our goal. goal. So we embrace Shabbat, day of rest, day of wonder, day of peace. And we continue on the next page with Maya Fe Hayom. Because it's 50 degrees in December. <laughs> Maya Fehayo Shabbat Shalom Maya Fehayo Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. And we will continue on page 20 with Lachad D. We'll do verses 1, 2, and 9. And as we start verse 9, those who are able, please rise and face the door to, to welcome the Shabbat bride. And when we're done with Lachad D, you can remain standing for um, Chatzik Kaddish. Shabbat 
And remain standing, and we'll continue on page 28. I'm sorry, 26, with Hatsi Kaddish. Yit Gadav, Yit Gadash, Me Rabba. Amen. El Madi Barach, Yerotev, Am Lich Malchute. Bechay Echon, Uv Yom Echon, Uv Chay Edecho, Beit Yisrael. Yet for arbitrary man, we eat Nasse, we eat a dar, we eat a levy, we eat a love. She made a kudisha, Rehu, a lamming cover, Hata, the Shirata, to Shirata, the Nehemata, Dami, and we continue on the next page with the Borhu. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'et You may be seated. And we'll read together at the bottom of page 30. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, ruler of the world, who speaks evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are the creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzavot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch Ata Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim. And you're going to see there are a couple of readings that I'm doing tonight about, about the sky and the stars. Um, don't know how many of you knew the Geminids meteor shower was last night and the night before, and you might even be able to see some tonight. I don't know. I think I saw a couple um, last night. Uh, but I, at one point in my life, I lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I lived right next, I was in a rental house, I lived right next to the mountains, and there was a big empty lot next to me. And I think it was the Perseid meter shower, I just put out a lawn chair, and you know, you're up high, and the, and the air is clear, and it was, it was just a wonderful show. So if you ever have a chance to go someplace dark and watch a meteor shower. Um, and then tonight, the moon is just absolutely stupendous, that little sliver out there, so... 
Uh, be sure to appreciate that on your way home tonight. And we continue on page 32 with uh, Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amecha Avta, Amcha Avta, Torah Umitzvot, Chulkim Otanu lemadeta, al kein Adonai Eloheinu b'shok meinu, uku meinu naasiach mechukecha, ve'nismach b'direi Toratecha, u'v'bizkotecha le'olam ha'ed, ki hem chaye. Those who are able, please rise for the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kivod Malchuto, Please be seated, and we'll continue on the next page with the Via Hafta. Via Hafta, Eit Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Avcha, Ubechol Nafshecha, Ubechol Meodecha, Behayu Hadvarim Ha'ele, Asher Anochi. Misalecha Hayom Alevalecha Vishinan Tam Levanecha Lidi Barta Bam Vishivtecha Babetecha Who left the Chaba Derech Ushak the Chaba Ukumecha Ushartam leot al yadecha, v'hayu letotafot beinecha, uktavtam al mezuzot beitecha, uvisharecha, leman tiskeru v'asitem et kol mitzvotai, Vietem Kedoshim Lelohechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher Hotzeti Echem Meeres Mitzrayim Lehiot Lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem we continue at the bottom of page 39 and we'll read responsibly. Re responsibly, responsibly, and responsibly. In a world torn by violence and pain, in a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. 
From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired, Inspired by, by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again, again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let, Let us continue, continue to work, work for the day when, when the nations will be one and at peace. Then, then shall we rejoice as Israel, Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. And we continue on page 40 with Mi Chamocha. <laughs> And we continue at the top of page 43 together. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapure Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, Bel Kol Amo Yisrael, all Yerushalayim. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu L'shalom, L'shalom. V'ha'amideinu Shokheinu L'chaim. U'fros aleinu Sukkot Shlomecha, U'fros aleinu Sukkot Shlomecha. Amen. And we continue on page 44 with Vishamru. Vishamru, Venehe Yisrael, et Tashabat. La asot et ha-shahapat le-dorotam berihit o-olam ve-shamru v'nehe Yisrael et ha-shabat La asot et ha-shahapat le-dorotam berihit o-olam ve-nehu v'nehe Yisrael O ti leolam, o ti leolam, ve shamru v'nehe Yisrael et ha-shabbat, la'asot et ha-shabbat, le-dorotam berihit o'olam. Ki sheish yamim asah Adonai, Shabbat <laughs> Shabbat v'inafash, Shabbat v'inafash, Veshamru v'nehe Yisrael, Et ha-shabbat, La'asot et ha-shabbat, Le-dorotam berit olam. We continue on page 46 with the tefillah and all who are able, please rise.
Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, velohe avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim. Vikone Hakov, Vizocher Haste Avot Vimahot, Umevi Gula Liv Nebrehem, Laman Shemo Beahava, Melech Ozer, Moshia Umagin, Baruchata Donai. Magin Abraham, Ezrat Sarah, Atagi Bor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye Atchot Arav Lehoshia, Mashiv HaRuach, Umarin HaGashem, Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim, so homech noflim v'rofech olim, humati hirasurim, v'nekayem emunato l'shenei afar, mi'chamol chabal gevurot, v'mito homehelach, melek me'mit v'mechayem, Umas miach Yeshua, v'neeman ata lachayot hakol, baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakol, ata kadosh v'shim chakadosh, k'doshim v'chol yom yhalu chasela, baruch ata Adonai. Ha'el ha'kadosh. You can be seated, and I'm going to read right at the very bottom of the next page, page 53. Holiness occurs when power and goodness coexist in perfect harmony. And I think that's what we wish for our country and for Israel and for Palestine. And let's continue together at the top of page 55. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh Hashabbat. And we continue on the middle of page 59. When we behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you set in place, what are we humans that you are mindful of us? We mortals that you take note of us. You made us little less than divine, adorned us with glory and majesty. You gave us dominion over all your handiwork, laying the world at our feet. How majestic is your name throughout the earth. Baruch Ata Adonai, Harov Shimcha Ulcha Ne'el Lehadot. And we continue with Shalom Rav on the next page. Shalom, Rav Yisrael, Amicha Tazim, Leolam, Ki Atahu Melech Adon, Lehoa Shalom, Ve 
Think that given what's going on in the world, let's read the English for that at the top of page 61. Let's read together. <clears throat> Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, praise et hamo Yisrael ba shalom. And we pause for a moment of silent prayer. continue on page 253. God, who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Leah, and Rachel, send your blessings to the following friends and family members who are in need of healing and comfort. Carol Ford, Sherry Giampa, Michael Chervetsky, James Chavez, Wendy Sherman, Rabbi Brad Bleefeld, Diane Levy, Irv Willis, Arlene Sandelstein, Jenna DeFazio, Stephanie Willis, and Elizabeth Fogel. If you're joining us on YouTube, please feel free to type any names in the chat box. And if you're here in person, please feel free to add any names that you'd like to add. I'm gonna add Bobby Pollock and Alan Cohen. And we'll sing Misha Bayrock on page 253. <laughs> before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing 
with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. So the Torah portion tonight is Makates. It's Genesis uh, chapter. 41 verse 1 through 44 17 and I'm going to do something a little different tonight I'm going to start with a short synopsis Pharaoh interprets I'm sorry Joseph interprets Pharaoh Pharaoh's two dreams so he has two dreams one about seven fat cows and seven skinny cows and one about seven fat ears of corn and seven not so fat ears of corn and none of Pharaoh's soothsayers can figure out what these dreams mean and somebody tells him well there's a prisoner who interpreted some other dreams correctly, let's bring him up here. And so they brought Joseph out of prison and he interprets Pharaoh's dreams and Pharaoh believes him and places Joseph in charge of all the food collection and distribution. So for seven years, they collect all the food and in the portion it says they, they quit counting. It was so much. Um, then Joseph marries Asenath. I, I don't know if that's how, but the, the daughter of an Egyptian priest and they have two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And if you've been um, in a household where they bless the children on Shabbat, which is a, a, a tradition in many households, um, the boys are, are blessed to be like Manasseh and Ephraim. So those, those two names live on. Um, so they make it through the seven good years, obviously. And now it comes to the seven lean years. And there is famine throughout the land. And... Joseph's brothers and his father are living in Canaan and they have no food either. And so he sends all the brothers except for Benjamin, Benjamin the youngest, um, they send them to Egypt to buy food and they don't recognize their brother Joseph. And Joseph accuses them of spying. He holds Simeon hostage saying, you, you go back home, here's food, take the food back home, but come back with your youngest brother. So they go back and um, Jacob is not very happy about letting Benjamin go. And finally, they really need food and they let Benjamin go. And this time he falsely accuses Benjamin of stealing gold and says Benjamin has to stay. And that's where this pair shot ends. It ends on a cliffhanger. You have to tune in next week to see what happens. Um, so I thought about, you know, what, what was I going to write about? And one of the things that, um, that we talk about a lot at work is artificial intelligence and something called ChatGPT, which I don't know how many of you have heard of ChatGPT. It's what's called a large language model, an LLM, that can learn. So it goes out and it reads everything that's on the internet. And then when you ask it a question, it very quickly comes up with an answer. Some, sometimes it's right, sometimes it does what's called hallucinations, and it gives you something that factually is absolutely totally wrong. So you can't just believe it, but I work with somebody who has been using these to, he, he's, he actually teaches computer science at Vanderbilt, and he's found ways to use it to help his students as well, and to help himself. Um, so I thought, all right, I, I'm gonna see what ChatGPT has to say. So what I did was I asked, and this is ChatGPT3, not the latest one, for those of you who are up on all this. So I asked ChatGPT, what I said was, and, and there's a whole thing about how you write your query, right? How you actually write your prompt, that you can get different answers depending on how you write your prompt. Probably not the best prompt, but I said, provide a 400-word summary of the Torah portion maquettes that compares the major points to life today. Now, I read it over and I thought, well, there are some things that aren't really written that well and I should change. And then I said, no, I'm not going to change any of it. I'm just going to read it to you exactly the way ChatGPT wrote it. And you can see what it came up with. It's, it's not bad. McCates is a Torah portion found in the book of Genesis, Bereshit, that spans chapters 41.1 through 44.17. It is a significant segment of the Joseph narrative dealing, detailing his rise to power in Egypt. The portion begins with the Pharaoh's perplexing dreams, which none of his wise men can interpret. Joseph, having been imprisoned for several years, is summoned to interpret the dreams. He successfully predicts seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of famine, advising Pharaoh to store surplus grain during the plentiful years. 
This portion highlights the themes of foresight, preparation, and the unpredictable nature of life, which resonates strongly with contemporary experiences. In the narrative, Joseph's ability to interpret dreams and foresee the future demonstrates the importance of strate strategic planning and the ability to anticipate challenges. In today's world, where uncertainty is a constant, the value of, so of foresight and preparedness is equally crucial. Individuals, businesses, and governments grapple with an array of uncertainties, ranging from economic fluctuations to global crises, emphasizing the relevance of planning for the unknown. Moreover, the narrative indicates, underscores the significance of resilience and adaptability in the face of unexpected turns in life. Joseph's journey from being a slave to becoming a high-ranking official in Egypt exemplifies the capacity to navigate adversity and emerge stronger. In the contemporary context, individuals often encounter unexpected setbacks, be it in personal or professional spheres. McCates in encourages the recognition that setbacks can be opportunities for growth and transformation. This portion also touches upon the theme of reconciliation and forgiveness. Joseph, who was once betrayed by his brothers, ultimately forgives them when they come seeking grain during the famine. This message resonates with the importance of reconciliation and forgiveness in today's world, where conflicts and misunderstandings are prevalent. It's an understatement. McCates encourages individuals to reflect on their relationships, fostering a spirit of forgiveness and healing. In conclusion, McCates from the Torah offers timeless insights that remain relevant to contemporary life. The narrative's emphasis on foresight, preparation, resilience, and forgiveness serves as a guide for navigating the uncertainties of the present day. The enduring themes of the portion provide a foundation for reflection and action offering valuable lessons that transcend the boundaries of time and culture. So that was the that was what Chachi, which some of these things I didn't think quite followed, but overall it wasn't bad. And then I said, could you write me a haiku about haiku? <laughs> Dreams unfold in gold, famine's shadow, foresight told, forgiveness retold. So that is McCates and chat GPT. It actually, it actually is a lot of fun um, playing with it. Um, I, I had somebody do a demo where they gave it ingredients for a meal and they said, like, here's what I have and I want something that's keto and, and you know, low salt and, and you know, came up with what looked like a, a plausible recipe. So um, it, it is coming, that's for sure. All right, we will continue with Elenu on page 282, and those who are able, please rise. Alenu le shabayach la adon hakol, a tate kedulam yotzeh breishit, Shelo asanu ki goye haratzot, velo hosamanu ki mishpachot adama. Shelo san chalkenu kahem, vigohor aleinu kechol hamonam. Vanachnu korim, vumishtachavim umodim, lifnei melech. Malche Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu, Shehuna Teshamayim, Yosef Ares, Umosha Vikaro, Bashamayim, Nima, Ushkina Tuzo, Ushkina Tuzo, Begohe Mehrohomim, Hu Elohe Nue. Kaka <laughs> Mi tochat enor, 
Venemar, the Hayadonai, the Melechal Kohares, Bayom Hahu, Bayom Hahu, Yadonai, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo. Please be seated. And we will continue on page 291. There are stars up above, so far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. Tonight, we are in Shloshim for Sharon Abramowitz and Zach Sherbel, and I'm gonna add Henry Kissinger as well. Um, the yard sites this week are Clara Rosenthal, Abraham Schaffner, Jacob Zasloff, Sadie Stein, Benjamin Kramer, Esther Wolf, Edward Baker, Joy DeRoy, Joseph DeRoy, Rita Gilman, Tilly Oster, Claire Levin, Caroline Gartner, Barbara Hanauer, Rose Strauss, Pauline Castleman, Theodore Landsberg, Frederick Baum, Benjamin Emmerman, Joseph Kramer, Rebecca Michael, Darwin Luntz, and Herman Parker. Those of us joining on YouTube, if you have somebody whose name you want to remember, please put that in the chat box. If you're here in person, if you have a name to add, so you can say it out loud. Okay, we will continue with the Mourner's Kaddish on page 294. Those who are able, please rise. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Ba'oma, Divrach, Yurte, Vyamich, Malchute, the Chaye Chon, Uv Yome Chon, Uv Chaye to call Beit Yisrael, Ba'agola, Uvizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen, Yehe Shemei Rabbah, Mavarach, Leolam, Ulame, Amaya, Yit Barak, Bish Tabak, Yit Pa'ar, Yit Raman, Yit Nase. Viet Hadar, Viet Halev, Viet Halal, Shemei de Kudusha, Berechu, Ela Min Kol, Birchata, Vashirata, Tushpakata, Vashirata, Damiran, Vi Alma, Vi Mru, Amen. Shalom, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vichayim, Alenu, Vi Al Kol Yisrael, Vi Mru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Vi Mramav, Hu Ya Se Shalom. Alenu v'yol kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Please be seated. And now I'm leaving and I'm coming back up as a service rep. <laughs> um, services are in memory of Mildred West and Stanley Pallant. Uh, services tomorrow are YouTube only and Torah study is on Zoom. You can get those links in your weekly email. Um, the holiday hours, the temple will be closed on December 25th and January 1st and limited office hours in between. Contact the office with any questions. And services um, next Friday night will be in person here with the rabbi. And Saturday, December 16th will be Zoom or YouTube only. And Friday, December 29th, will also be YouTube only. So the last Friday of the month, there will be no services here at Temple. And on Saturday, December 30th, there will not be any Saturday morning services at all. And you can see your weekly emails for additional information. Can we do the wine and the bread next or the closing song? Whatever you want. All right. Let's continue with the blessing over the wine on page five. five. Thank you. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam 
Borei peri hagafen, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech olam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah v'ratzavanu, V'shabat kadshav v'yahava v'ratzah inchilanu, Zikaron l'maseh v'reshit, Ki hu yom tehila le mikrae kodesh ze heletiat mi hitraim ki vanu bakarta yotanu ki dashta mi kohamim ve Chaltanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mikadesh Hashabbat. Amen. Whoops. Ha Motzi Lechem in Haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song to who gather as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Ha Motzi Lechem in Haaretz. Amen. If anybody would like to take the bread home, I believe the bag is probably in the kitchen. Please do. And we will conclude services tonight with Od Yavod Shalom Aleinu on page 353. Shalom Aleinu. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you all for coming tonight. And look at that moon as you're as you're leaving. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, Jesse. Thank you, Julie. Thank you very much.